welcome to the April Wall Show. I hope you guys are having a wonderful evening on today. And I hope you, all the men yesterday had a happy Father's Day. And you know, I heard several men saying, well, they don't treat Father's Day like they treat Mother's Day. Mother's Day, oh man, the turkeys just packed one and over. Mama just did to go shopping and all of that good stuff. And well, yeah, you know, and probably the reason why is because you know what? When all the chips fall, Daddy might say no sometimes, but Mama gonna always be there. Mama will walk so her children can run. She'll do whatever she can. Not discrediting the father. Mm-mm, no, 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 no. But you know how you feel about your mom. You love Daddy. I love mine too. But ooh, we yeah, just like your mama. But anyway, but ha- I hope all the men out there had a happy. Father's Day on yesterday. Things we've been working on here at the April Law Show on last, uh, I think it was Thursday or two, Wednesday. I'm getting my days mixed up. Anyway, we were fortunate enough to go to Wish Boutique in Atlanta and we were able to witness young Jeezy unveil his new shoe with gourmet uh, footwear. And man, it was an exciting time. We got a chance and we ran into Mimi Foss of uh, love, love and Hip Hop Atlanta, and also Khadija Rowe. We ran into her as well, and she's with Big Rich Atlanta. But we're going to be bringing you those interviews next week. we got so much stuff we're working on here at the April Law Show. And as we mentioned before, make sure you hit me up on Twitter. It's at April Law Show. And also my Facebook is on April Hand Walsh. You can check me out on my Facebook, April Hand Walsh. And if you ever want to email me some information, it's under the April Walsh Show at yahoo.com. I want to thank the PR team over at Garner PR. They are, man, they're getting all the latest. They are on top of everything. And I want to uh, let them know that we do appreciate them always uh, inviting the April Walsh Show up to all these wonderful, exciting events so that we can bring them to you. Now, recently, we were able to go to the Colgate Optic White event that was held at Bar One, and none other than that is uh, Cynthia Bailey's and Peter uh, Thomas, their their bar there, and uh, we got a chance we ran into Cynthia while we were there. So we're going to let you take a look at what she had to say was coming up with Cynthia Bailey. Next up for you. Uh, well, you know, as always, the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Uh, we're starting back shooting uh, in about a month, and Peter and I have a relationship book coming out. Um, the Bailey Agency School of Fashion is always doing big things. A lot of things coming with the school. Relocating to a larger space. Uh, oh my God, I have a lot of things I don't want to really talk about right now, but you'll see it all unfold on the show. Okay. And you said relationship book. Is this between you and he? Peter and I wrote a relationship book together okay. and it's just about getting married a little later in life we both were like well into our 40s when we got married and you know it's a little harder when you're not like 25 and you're not as open to things you know everybody already had their kids everybody had their issues and all their different things so it was a, a little it's a little different you know? well, let me ask you did you all touch on the relationship between him and Leon I love their relationship can they write a book together teach men how to get along okay I'm talking about personal. Right. <laughs> well, thank you so much. I'm so glad you said that. You know, a lot of people uh, have reached out to me in different ways uh, via Twitter, a lot of different social media saying how they have actually, you know, made an effort to get along with their baby daddies and baby mamas after watching how we, you know, all coexist as a family. At the end of the day, it's not about us, it's about the kids. If you bring a kid into the world, then your responsibility is to that kid. So we put all our grown folks up aside and do what Noelle needs. And that she wants a daddy, and she wants Peter, and she wants me. Thank you so much. And that was Miss Cynthia Bailey from Real Housewives of Atlanta. Her and, Brooke, her and Peter came out with a book, so make sure you check it out. Uh, it's on her Facebook page, her uh, Twitter page, so make sure you check their new book out. And I'm telling you, I, I want Peter and Leon to write a book because why can't we just all get along as a family? It's all about the children, as she said. 
Some men, some women can get along with one another and can't respect one another in their household. And I tell you, write that book. I so love their relationship. Leon respects Peter as her husband. They're all trying to work closely together to make sure they do what's best for Noel. And ultimately, that's what it's really all about. All this fighting and fussing about children and all that kind of stuff. It don't make any sense. Now we all just to get along for the children. Coming up, we've got Mr. Hamilton Cofield and his wife, Jacquees. They're going to be here talking about their photography business. And I tell you, they got some slamming stuff. They got the latest in digital photography. And we're going to bring them on. They're my guests for today. And just some of the things how they got started and what drove them to photography and where they're taking it to the next level. So we're going to be coming back with more of the China Moon, the best Chinese food in town. They're located at 105 Valley Plaza in Lynette, Alabama. They have the largest all-you-can-eat buffet. They're open seven days a week. Call them at 334 642 Three three six eight. That's China Moon, the best Chinese food in town. China Moon, the best Chinese food in town. They're located at 105 Valley Plaza in Lynette, Alabama. They have the largest all-you-can-eat buffet. They're open seven days a week. Call them at 334-642-642. 3368. That's China Moon, the best Chinese food in town. What's up, everybody? This is your man, Kirk Franklin. Keep watching the April Ross Show. Let's go. All right, and that's my boy, Kirk Franklin. I appreciate that, Kirk. And with me today, I have Hamilton Colville. He is a digital photographer in our area. And Hamilton, welcome to the show. How are you doing, April? Thank you for having me. Oh, no problem. Now, Hamilton, tell us, first of all, how did you get started with photography? Well, photography was something uh, that um, I really kind of stumbled into. Uh, my father was, a, or is actually an awesome artist, and mm -hmm. he taught me how to sketch, and that's how I started uh, doing sketch work. And um, I was working a job. You know, it was good. It was bringing in money. Mm -hmm. uh, but I'd always kind of wanted to do something on my own. Mm -hmm. uh, and so um, I found myself um, later on uh, losing that job because of a situation that happened because I just wasn't really happy there. My body told on me. And uh, I found myself needing stable income. Uh, a lot of the jobs I was interviewing for, the hours didn't work or I was overqualified. So um, I asked my wife if she would mind if I would try to uh, start a business. And you asked she your agreed. wife. Yeah. Oh, that's so sweet. Go ahead. She agreed. <laughs> yeah, she agreed. She's my backbone. Uh -huh. so, uh, with with her uh, assisting me, she's my second shooter. Uh, mm -hmm. We've been blessed uh, having a lot of clients come to us, uh, despite the fact of really kind of starting up uh, from nothing. Mm -hmm. uh, we've been able to work with uh, a lot of different clients. Uh, one thing I saw online when I would look at photography sites is you didn't see many black couples online. Mm -hmm. And that's something I was able to do early on. The majority of the couples that I worked with were black couples, and I was able to ca capture uh, their love and bring something online that I hadn't mm -hmm. seen much of before. So uh, I enjoy working with black couples, not just uh, working mm -hmm. with black couples, but working with a number of people. Mm -hmm. So you saw that black love. You're trying to bring it to the forefront, but nevertheless, we're diverse, and you know we're willing to do anybody. Yeah, anybody, that's mm -hmm. right. <laughs> so you kind of stumbled into it. You, was it always a passion of yours? Well, um, art was always a passion of mine, okay. and uh, basically I segue what I would look at art uh, into my photography. Mm -hmm. uh, when I take pictures, I'm basically taking a picture of, of how it was sketched in my mind. Okay. So it looks a little bit different from the norm that you normally would see. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a bit more, uh, basically I, I want it to translate to be a nice uh, thing, uh, item that you would put on a wall. Okay. Mm -hmm. So tell me, what separates you from other photographers, you would say? Uh, well, what uh, is that niche that you have? Uh, my niche, well, where I really, my wife and I really like to shoot is engagements and weddings. Uh, okay. Again, we do a wide range of things, but those are the two things we really like to focus on. Um, capturing the love between two people. Uh, when you go to a wedding, generally, uh, the groom is never going to wear his tux again. 
uh, the bride may never be able to get back into the dress. Mm. Uh, the wedding cake mm -hmm. is going to be demolished. Oh, all of right? course. All mm -hmm. right? The venue will be there, but you're not really going to have that many more uh, events in that venue. Mm -hmm. The one thing you'll have to remember, all of the things that went into that day are your photographs. Correct. That's what you're going to share with your children, with your grandchildren. Mm -hmm. So what you want them to see is quality work. You want them to see the happiness that you had on that day. And so you really want to get somebody who uh, has a unique style that fits you. Mm -hmm. And that's something I do. I sit down with the clients. I ask them specifically, what do you want? Mm -hmm. I uh, assess what they want, and I give them what they want from that day with my uh, signature touch to it. So when you sit down with a client and they say, well, I don't, they come in and say, well, I don't know what we want. We just want you to shoot. What do you kind of, do you kind of try to gear them to a certain direction or what? Right. Do you and, and that's often what we find uh, mm -hmm. because generally a bride's a bride for the first time. Okay. And so she doesn't know exactly, you know, what she wants mm -hmm. from the wedding. So uh, we educate the client. I show mm -hmm. them a number of uh, pictures that I have and I ask them, what's important to you? Do you want to see more of uh, the family that made the event? Do you want it to just be more about you and your husband? Mm -hmm. Do you want it to be about your wedding party? Mm -hmm. So I find out what would be important to them, and I take a number of pictures of everything so that I can get a good collage that they can choose from to paint the portrait of their day. So you try to make it into like um, their, when they get the finished product, it's like a love story, right. would you say? Right. And when you do you talk to both the bride and the groom I talk at that to time? Both, I've talked to both the bride and the groom. Now, I have consulted uh, with... Uh, either the bride and the groom, mm -hmm. uh, but really something we, uh, me and my wife had talked about is now we want to interview both couples. At uh, the same time? At the same time, because it's both it's both of their wedding. Right. Uh, even though it, the wedding is more for the bride. Centered uh, around the bride. Centered around the bride, mm -hmm. it's still the joining of two people. So we want to make sure we get an equal representation for both the groom and the bride as well. Mm -hmm. Have you had any clients that have been difficult to kind of work with? Or do you, when you get there, do you take control and say, A, B, and C, this is what I want, this is this is what we're going to do? Or do they tell you? How do you work that? Well, the way me and my wife work, uh, we both have worked uh, in the um, in the field of teaching. Okay. So we are used to dealing with, uh, with people and trying to um, not lord over them, mm -hmm. but direct them in how they need to be. Okay. Uh, so uh, we don't come in and say, no other photographers, get out of the way, you have to pose like this. We have a more of an approach of directing them for exactly what we need them to do, uh, but not coming in too demanding. Okay. Uh, basically, mm -hmm. what we want to do is be the photographer, mm -hmm. but we don't want to get in everybody else's shot. Okay. That's the enjoyment for everybody else's uh, day. Mm -hmm. They want to take pictures for their own albums. Okay. So we want to make sure that uh, we're not... Uh, Beauregarding the set or just coming over and taking over that whole day, mm -hmm. but still being stern and, and letting them know what we need to give them a good album. Mm -hmm. So do you uh, have a sheet, a list as to where they go by? The, we're, the reason why I'm asking, we were recently at a, at a wedding and the photographer was like forgetting, okay, had, the, bride, the bride had said, okay, you haven't taken me and such and such or me and them. And so the, when the bride, I'm sure you, that's when you take control and say, we need to get this photo. Because there's a lot of going on through her mind, but she, then she realizes, hey, I didn't take a picture with my mom. I didn't take a picture with your dad. So do you take control of, or do you have a list that you go I by? I have a okay. shot list that I do. And generally that's something when we have that initial consultation. Okay. Uh, that's when I'll go ahead and write that down. When I ask them what it is they want from that day, I go ahead and I make a notation of those. Mm -hmm. um, and generally, for most of the uh, weddings that I have uh, worked with, I have a coordinator. And I've been really fortunate to have some great coordinators. Mm -hmm. I let them get a copy of the shot list. Oh. And uh, mm -hmm. hopefully, sometimes if they know the family, mm -hmm. they can go ahead and tell me people that they are um, closely associated with. It's a best friend that they went to mm -hmm. college with years ago that they definitely want to get a shot with. And I try to make sure I get all those shots in. So after the wedding ceremony, about how long does it take for you to gather everybody together, get the photos that you need? How long does that take? Um, generally, it doesn't take long because with my style, mm -hmm. um, it's more of an all-day style. Okay. So I show up and I'm getting uh, progressive shots. Okay. I'm getting uh, the bride and the groom getting ready. I'm getting the people coming in. I'm getting details uh, from the day. And uh, I'm generally trying to work with the wedding party as early as I can okay. because after the wedding, I want to focus on the couple. I want to tell their story. I want to get them off to themselves, get the shots that I, that I need to express how they feel about each other. Mm -hmm. uh, that's something that every couple needs mm -hmm. um, because generally, I mean, really, it's, it's about them. It is. It's, it's their day. So mm -hmm. I want to tell their story, 
get a very nice couple set uh, intimate session just with them by themselves. And then we may come in and get some more family shots and more shots with the party as well. It's something new that uh, I've seen a lot of couples are doing. Now we're going we're gonna to move on to from couples in a moment. But they've been doing a lot of engagement photos mm -hmm. too. So tell us, how did that come about? Well, engagement, really, what I try to sell my clients on engagements is okay. it gives me an opportunity to go ahead and shoot with you. I go ahead and I see the best way to shoot you, uh, the best angle to shoot you from, uh, what you're comfortable doing, what you're not comfortable doing. And so when it comes to the wedding day, I already know how to shoot with you. Okay. So it cuts down on the time, the learning curve mm -hmm. it takes for me mm -hmm. to really find where you're most comfortable, what poses, mm -hmm. what positions. Um, if the bride is maybe a little bit taller than the groom, mm -hmm. I already know how to pose them working with engagement session. It also gives you an opportunity to cheat a little bit. And this is why I also do something called uh, bridal shoots. Bridal shoots. Now, bridal shoots are very, very good for the bride because you can go ahead and cheat a little bit. Okay. You can go ahead and get your hair done how you want it. You can go ahead and get in the dress. You can get photographs and see, is this what I really want? And then that gives me also a plate that to work with. Say if uh, on the day of the wedding, uh, something happens. Uh, your hairstylist doesn't show up. Oh, God forbid. Or the makeup doesn't work exactly how mm -hmm. it should have worked that day. Well, I can go back to the bridal session. Oh. And I can also use those to really uh, emphasize what should have been that day, but maybe just because of circumstances didn't happen the way you intended it to. Now let's move on. And we, we got the bride situated and we do babies. And a lot of people are right. starting to do like maternity. Right. Pictures. Maternity. I love maternity. People are kind of opening to maternity. Maternity used to be mm -hmm. just a shot of the belly. Uh, but now people are willing to show the whole stomach out I there, you know. know. It's and stretches and all. Yeah, they really they, they don't they, they, like, <laughs> they embrace the mark. Like, do you want me to you know brush this off? No, I want it to be natural. Okay, well, you know, I'm, I'm fine <laughs> so with that. So you ask. I ask. Not, and that's something I do uh -huh. ask. Um, as graphic design becomes more and more something that people are getting into, you do see pictures where people kind of have a porcelain look. Mm -hmm. where they just look flawless. And there's nothing, absolutely nothing wrong with that. Mm -hmm. uh, the style that I shoot in, I try to make the person look as best as they possibly can. Mm -hmm. Basically, I come in as a secondary makeup artist, just cover okay. over any blemishes, but I want to make sure the person looks like the person that okay. they actually are. Mm -hmm. And that's like you can't make me as a Halle Berry or nobody. Right. <laughs> you're going to be you. Beautiful as you are, you're going to be you. Gonna be you. Uh, okay. So then, so like we said, the maternity, people are getting more into that. And then with their children, right. it's no longer just in the studio anymore. Right. And that's something I, I, I really embrace. I always say that the best background you could ever have is God's creation. God's creation. That's what I always say. Oh, I love that. God's yeah. creation. And, and it's true because, and that's why I do on-site uh, photography. You know, mm -hmm. I find places that are a nice backdrop for, uh, a scenic backdrop for the session that we have. Uh, and I basically uh, tailor it to the person. Uh, you know, do you like go water? You know, do you want to shoot by a beach somewhere? You know, do you like greenery? Do you want to shoot somewhere where we have some nice flowers, floral prints that we can put you in uh, in a background? So uh, basically, I, I shoot on location. I'll meet someone. Uh, I've shot in people's homes. Mm -hmm. So uh, I really enjoy really getting out there and finding uh, nice eclectic places to really make a nice photo session for each and every individual that I work with. So if it's a family and they want to do a photo shot, do you do they ask you sometimes? have an idea of what they need to wear or what, what what do we need to do and where do we need to do they rely on you for that information and you can give that to them or they need to come up with that right uh, generally I want to kind of guide them okay. I don't have um, any hard super fast rules that I stick to uh, one thing I do say is stay away from vertical stripes and stay away from large logos because that can detract from you and you're the subject so I really want to focus in on you so um, solid colors um, can be as bright or as dull as you would like, uh, but you do want to kind of try to match your skin tone uh, mm -hmm. when you are, are uh, dressing. And those are the, a few of the rules that I, I do give to my clients. Mm -hmm. Okay, and so we've gotten the children covered. So what else are we covering now? Whatever, what else uh, are we doing with photography? Another thing I really love to do is senior portraits. Oh, uh, okay. Because it's a, another, outside of a wedding, uh, it's another big transition. You're going from being a uh, a boy or a girl to a man or a woman, you know, mm -hmm. embarking on uh, either college or going uh, straight into the workforce. Mm -hmm. So uh, your senior portraits is time to really you want to have it commemorated well. 
Uh, and that goes back to what I like to shoot, shooting uh, canvases, shooting uh, portraits that will be hung on a wall, mm -hmm. something that you can really remember when you go back mm -hmm. and look at your photos. I've seen some of your senior photos. And so what you do, you do different um, photo shoots, uh, right. shots with them. You go to different locations with them and then just make a collage. Is that how it works? Right. Well, it's based on uh, on a package. Okay. Uh, based on which package they choose. If they just want to have one session, we can do that. There are packages that do allow you to shoot at multiple locations and have more than uh, one outfit. Mm -hmm. And I basically basically go on which package you do pick. Okay. Now, uh, we've done the weddings. Do you do any type of event, like uh, 50th birthday parties or anything like that? Well, mostly I just limit it to weddings because okay. those are the ones I just I really keyed in. That's what I studied the most and okay. what I uh, really just really love to shoot. Okay. Okay. And what else would you like to add about your photography business? Well, I'd like to add that uh, the first thing I would like to say is just thank you to my wife, who is my backbone. She's off camera now. She didn't want to get on the camera, but mm -hmm. um, my wife, who is my backbone, she really helps me. She's my second Doesn't shooter. that make it easy? It does. When you have somebody who said, I got your back. It does. We've shot together, and we, we really kind of know mm -hmm. each other. Mm -hmm. And as we're progressing through the day, I don't have to tell her to get a certain shot. She already knows, you know, mm -hmm. to get uh, this certain shot. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll uh, convene, you know, quickly each other. Okay, did we get this shot? Okay, run do that. So uh, generally, what we'll do is. Uh, Are you a hard boss? I'm not a hard. Well, am I a hard <laughs> boss? Okay, she said no. So <laughs> no. I'm, I'm not uh, much of a hard boss. Uh -huh. uh, generally, what we'll do is I'll be working with the groomsmen, and she'll be working with uh, the brides, the bridesmaids, okay. and then we'll kind of cross each other because we both have um, our own styles. Okay. And so uh, we uh, cross each other. And we merge those two styles to uh, paint a portrait that really is unique from what I've been able to see from other photographers. Okay. And where can we find you? Well, you can find me in a number of different places. I'm on Facebook. Uh, that's originally where I started out uh, with my business, free advertisement. Love it. But you can find me on Facebook. Uh, it's under Kings Court Digital Photography. And an uh, interesting note about the name, you know, why Kings Court? Uh, well, my middle name uh, has a connotation to a king. And my wife's uh, first or well, middle name is uh, Courtney. So mm -hmm. I basically just merged those two, and that's how we got King's Court uh, mm -hmm. Digital Photography. Uh, but you can find me there on Facebook again, King's Court Digital uh, Photography. You can also find me on Smug Mug, which is H R Cofield. That's H R C O F I E L D dot Smug Mug dot com. And that you'll see mostly some of my uh, weddings, some of my um, family portraits, also some of my senior work you'll find uh, there. Um, you can email me or contact me, hrcofield at gmail.com, uh, or you can call me 706-518-2308 anytime. I'll, if, you know, if, I, if I'm not able to answer, just leave a message and I'll get back with you as soon as I possibly can. Now, how many packages do you have? Uh, well, it depends. Mm -hmm. um, actually, for weddings, I have about three packages. Okay. Uh, we start off at a base of uh, $600. Mm -hmm. And basically, uh, another thing to keep my, in mind is that uh, I always come with two photographers. Uh, if you, I want anyone who is inquiring about wedding photography to go and find out how much it costs for two photographers. It'll kind of blow your mind. So 600 is really a, a wow. very good deal. Very. And it does come with uh, an album uh, from the day. Mm. Uh, that's our, our basic uh, model. Mm -hmm. um, we also have uh, two other tier packages that involve uh, wall prints, and what we call flush mount albums, which are very elegant, very beautiful packages for our clients. Mm -hmm. Now, are you do you travel? Are you I do. To travel? I do travel. Uh, right now, currently, I travel within the uh, Alabama, Georgia, Florida area. I do look to expand that very soon, but I'm staying within those areas just for the time being. Okay. All right. Well, we appreciate you coming on. Anything you want to add about your business before you leave us today? Well, uh, as I said, when I started the business, the business has been around for about two years. Uh, when I started the business, it kind of came out of nowhere. So uh, a lot of people didn't know me. Despite that fact, we've had a number of clients. So I would like to take the time now to thank every last person, especially the first couple that I work with. Thank you for taking a chance on me. You, know, mm -hmm. you, you saw my pictures and you saw the small portfolio I had and you entrusted me with your day. Uh, I was able to work with you. You loved your pictures and every couple that I've worked with since then has loved their work as well. So thank you to every single client that I've worked with, every single client that's thought of me, that's referred me, and every single client that I get from this point 
on. And thank you, April, for having me on to expand the business. Absolutely. And let me just ask about your first time, your first um, client that you had to do. What was that like for you? That was very interesting. Um, I say everything <laughs> is a learning experience. <laughs> yes, it's, everything is a learning experience. Uh -huh. um, when I first started, I was really an amateur. So uh, the first uh, six months, uh, it was really trying to get my feet wet and understand the business. Yeah. Uh, and I was talking with a, a friend of mine. And he said, you know, when I get married, uh, you're going to do my wedding. And I really just thought he was being nice, you know, you know, friends saying, okay, you know, I got you. Um, but he called me up uh, about uh, three months later and said, uh, I'm getting married. Uh, are you free? I think it was a September. It was a September wedding. I said, yeah, but man, I'm, I thought you were just playing. I'm not ready to do a wedding. He said, well, I'm getting you, you know, I'm going to get you, I'm going to get you in there. I trust you. I saw the work you did. And at, and at this point, let me remind you, I only had a point and shoot digital camera. Point and shoot. So the work that they saw was based off that. And they said, okay, we want you. Uh, I really didn't expect them to say they wanted me, but I, they had asked me, to, you know, could they come and see the work? And I said, yes. So they said, okay, we want you. I said, okay. So um, my wife and I contemplated. I said, well, now, can I really do a wedding with a point and shoot? It's like, and we thought about it, and then we went to a wedding about two weeks later, and we saw the whole front row had these big digital DSLRs. I said, there's no way I can do a point and shoot. These folks are going to laugh me out of the building. So uh, my wife, being a level wife she is, she bought my first camera. Aww. And uh, she borrowed a camera from a friend, and uh, we did the wedding, and the pictures came out great. They were The template from that wedding was my first advertisement on, uh, on Facebook. Really? And so basically that was how I got the other weddings I got booked for that year. So mm. first year of business, I had three weddings right out of the gate. Right out of the gate. It. Didn't even expect Didn't it. Didn't even expect it. That's how God works. <laughs> I tell you, I love it. I love the stories. Um, and much success to you. No, I we do it. we do beat you much success. And make sure you check him out. I tell you, he's got great photos. King's photographer King's Court Digital Photography. Hey, that's it. That's right. King's Long Court. name. <laughs> that's all right. That's all right. They'll remember it. King. Mm -hmm. We like that. Um, we're going to be coming back with more of the April Ross show, other things that we got coming up, and we'll be telling you more about that. And make sure you check him out on Facebook. Find him. And also, we'll be giving you more information concerning his business. Stay right here on the April Ross show. We'll be right China Moon, the best Chinese food in town. They're located at 105 Valley Plaza in Lynette, Alabama. They have the largest all-you-can-eat buffet. They're open seven days a week. Call them at 334-642-3368. That's China Moon, the best Chinese food in town. And welcome back to the April Raw Show. And we certainly do appreciate Mr. Hamilton Cofield coming by. And make sure that you check out his Facebook page. Our time is up already. Man, we had a great time on today. And on next week, as I mentioned, that my interview with Young DZ, I'll be showing that on next week. And also, we caught up with Mimi Foss of Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. And we'll tell you what she has to say as well. Well, Corey, I appreciate you. He's running the board for us tonight. Make sure you check out Corey's hair salon. He's located at uh, 410 West 8th Street in downtown West Point. He'll hook you up with a relaxer. It's not a perm, y'all. Always say perm, but we get a relaxer, okay? Uh, check him out at 706-643-0147. Also, make sure you all check out my YouTube channel. Uh, if you want to get some great laughs for Corey and the kids, I tell you, they'll hate. Make sure you check that out as well. Well, another great show. Until next Monday, we'll see you. And thank you for supporting the April Ross Show.